Okay, brought you back. I stick blended a little bit of the uh, shea butter and the coconut oil so that it would blend in. We're going to go ahead and add the, the lye water I've prepared. So I prepared my distilled water and weighed it and I measured my lye and weighed it and then I put my lye into my distilled water and then I stirred it in a uh, well-ventilated area away from children and pets and I um, waited for that uh, cloudiness that first appears when you mix it to turn clear and then I added um, some sodium lactate to my recipe and I added that right into my lye water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this right in. Make sure that you can see all right. I can move you a little forward a little bit would be better. Let's see if I can move you a little bit more forward. And move you a little bit this way. And this way. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm going to pour the lye in right onto the stick blender so I don't get a lot of bubbles. We try to not have too many, but you know, there's always a few that creep in here and there and that's not the end of the world. Okay. And we always like to scrape out our containers because we weigh everything very carefully. So all of this was part of the recipe. So we want to make sure that we still have all the recipe together. Okay, so we'll start to stick on this and, um, and I'll show you the beginning of that. Change of color. Goes through um, a process, and it, you know, is called emulsion when everything is mixed together. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I have a very high content of shea butter and avocado oil in this recipe and it's very luxurious on the face as well as the rest of the body of course uh, i am just really liking this recipe i guess i like shea butter a lot okay so i will bring you back once we've mixed this all together okay brought you back it's just past emulsion and we're at a light trace which means that if I am dripping this on top of the soap, you can see the indents um, that the soap makes in, <clears throat> as it drips into the soap. So it, it's called trace. So we're at a um, light to medium trace and uh, my crock pot is on low and I am done with mixing this. So I'm going to take my stick blender and get the, all that recipe still on that stick blender back in the pot. Okay. I want to scrape my sides of my pot down. We try really hard to keep the soap batter um, from drying around the rim because it gets um, dry and crusty and then it falls back into your soap batter and then you get little white soap which is nothing wrong with it at all it just you know for looks you know we'd rather not have it in there so we want to scrape around the edge so I'm gonna let this cook and put the lid back on here and I will bring you back um, once this has started to bubble up it'll probably be about 10 minutes okay bring you back Okay, it's been about four minutes and we have a little bit of bubbling over here that you can see. I'll move the lid so you can see um, here and here and that will continue to cook and boil over. This has now gotten to be a more solid mass. I will show you. Um, it pretty much has gone via 
solidification. There's something there. Let's get that out. Okay. And so this will cook and continue. Um, I can tell you a little bit about this recipe. Um, I am cooking with a 5% super fat. I always put my recipes through soapcalc.net. That's S O A P C A L C dot N E T. And um, there's YouTube tutorials to figure out how to use that because it's not really that easy when if you just start to look at that. But anyway, so I use um, a full water, which is 38% um, water weight as a percentage of the oil. And um, as far as the soap bar quality of this particular bar, on a range of 29 to 54, this recipe um, is at 41. Here, actually, I can probably just show you that part. That would be probably easiest if I could do that without divulging all my information. Yes. Oops, sorry. I bumped into you. Here. This is my copy of Soap Calc um, and the numbers that are appearing. Um, actually, for hardness and cleansing, I'm sorry I'm moving, but I'm trying to look at the screen of the of the camera here. Uh, conditioning, bubbly, creamy, etc. And so it's a, a pretty nice recipe that I have. So I just wanted to show you. So as the um, soap continues to cook, it's starting bubbling on here and here and here on this one. And we'll bring you back when that cooks up some more in about 10 minutes. Okay, thanks. Hi, everybody. It's been about 25 minutes and it's almost um, completely um, pulled over to the top. I'm going to take the lid off. And I will stir this and we still have some hard stuff in the middle but we're gonna go ahead and stir all this so we can get it moving along some people like to leave it and let it cook on its own I like to stir it I like to move it along and either is perfectly fine All I know is without that stick blender, we would be in bad shape trying to stir this. The amount of stirring that needs to be done, my stick blender would not be able to handle the weight of this batter as it is right now. But, <clears throat> there we go. And we're going to do the same, get those soap particles almost soap anyway down into the batter it's um, half applesauce and half mashed potato at this point so yeah now we're at now it's starting to look like applesauce to me like perfectly like applesauce okay now I've got my <laughs> all full of soap here so scrape down these nasty little things that want to make white little soap particles which i don't want no 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 everybody in okay now i gotta see if i can scrape this off and get this in there looks like i need some help let's get another spatula get all this back into our recipe Every little bit counts. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. Alright, and then we'll let that cook some more and we'll bring you back. Thanks. Hi guys, I wanted to bring you back. I wanted to show you that um, this batter is starting to separate. Um, we're getting oils on the top here. This is all liquid up here. All this pretty much liquid. So I'm going to stir this up again. And I thought I'd bring you along. 
And I'm getting it out of the bucket already again. Okay, I gotta just mix that back in because my recipes, they just want to separate. And that's okay, we just will beat them into submission. That's what we'll do. Now we've gone from applesauce into uh, something else. Maybe a uh, mashed potato stage. But what I'd like to also show you is that I got this um, particular um, phenolphthalein indicator solution, which is 1%. You can see that. And I'm going to test this batter right now, and I want to see us get a big reaction. So I'll get some from down there. We'll put some on this paper towel. Again, I want to break, not have this soap up on the edge here. We don't want any white soap to get in here. It's going to be my new focus. No more white soap. Y'all have to stay in the batter. You're not allowed to hang out on the outside edge. Okay, so that'll continue to cook. I'm still on low, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you what this would look like. Let me just move this back for a second and show you what this would look like. I'm going to set it down right here. <clears throat> and you can see when I put that on there that there is um, a reaction because it's um, quite bright pink. So there's indicating a, a pH um, and we want it to be clear. So anybody want to expound on how this works in the description, in a comment? I'd love to hear about it because we all could use some more information on how this phenolphthalein works. Okay, thanks a lot. And I'll bring you back once this cooks into, um, into the next stage. Okay, see you later. It'll actually be a minute. Okay, I brought you back because we're going to mix this again and we'll get started. It's cooked uh, just maybe about four minutes since I stirred it last. But the closer it gets to being soap, we want to make sure we get it all mixed together. So there isn't any oils that are running around loose. Everybody has to stay together. Okay. So. This is looking like it's... Uh, what my soap batter looks like when it's done. It's very Vaseline-y and then it gets um, opaque once um, it starts to dry on the outer edge. So we'll have to get this mixed up into with our additive next. So we'll be adding our color and then once the temperature goes down a little bit then we'll be adding our fragrance oil of Black Raspberry Vanilla. Okay, I'll get this batter separated into two containers um, and I will bring you back. Okay, I'm bringing you back and what we're doing is I separated most of my batter is still in the crock pot and some of the batter I put into this um, other container. Um, most of our batter is going to be the raspberry, the black raspberry color, and then um, a small amount will be um, in this smaller container. Okay, so just for the sake of knowing, let's see what our batter is doing as far as temperature. And we're at 190, and the smaller one should be a little cooler. Yes, 175. So, I think we'll get started and get our, our black raspberry colorant um, that we made ourselves. It does have a little bit of activated charcoal in there to make the color a little darker. So that's fun. I want to use this 
other spatula, but it too has a little bit of soap on it. So, yes, yeah, you can see. So I'm going to pour all this color here, and you can see it's a nice dark purple color. We'll get all this color as much as we can out of this container. I have um, a little bit of the micas and the activated charcoal that I used in a little bit of olive oil. Um, so I'm actually adding to my 5% super fat that I mentioned earlier. It's only one ounce of, of the olive oil added um, so I'm getting there <laughs> with the, uh, with the micas. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm going to get. And, uh, we'll just mix this in. You know, since this is, um, made this color is um, mixed each time that um, we make this soap it comes out a little bit differently each time which is which is what handmade is all about just a little bit different with each time you make it already i see that we can have some of these white pieces of soap and i don't understand that I think what's happening is this um, chunks just got, I don't know, I just have to pick them out as I see them, but we certainly don't, I don't like to have them in there, and they're quite substantial. To look like a decent black raspberry, I think. There's another of those white pieces. Get that out of there. Oh, yep, there's another one. I don't want them. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Okay, that's, there's, gosh, look at this, look at this, just one big hunkin' piece. It's just like it's manufacturing them down there all by themselves. Okay, looks better. All this talk about the white things and then they just come and manufacture themselves. Okay. Now that I have soap all over my, my gloves, I'm going to wipe them off, and then we'll mix the white. Um, I'm not too anxious to do the white right away, which is titanium dioxide, because um, it tends to thicken up the batter. But we have to get going, because things are going to start cooling off, let's see, on the surface. 176, 180, this one, getting cooler by the second, 150, yeah, we need to get moving on this one quite quickly, I'm gonna, I want it really white, and so I'm going to bring this over and mix this in. Let's see how much we need to put in here. I don't want to put in more than I have to. I got this um, titanium dioxide from Mad Micas, and it works very, very well. I don't get, um, uh, I, of course, it's water soluble, and it seems to mix really well. Um, I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so of sodium lactate to this. 
maybe even half a teaspoon. Because <clears throat> this is already thickening up on me. And the sodium lactate just seems to loosen things up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to, here's my um, black raspberry vanilla fragrance oil. And on the bottom is a kaolin clay. I like to use that um, kaolin clay in with my scents because it holds the scent in the soap very well. Plus the kaolin clay also adds a little slip to the bar of soap and is also somewhat detoxifying in its own right. So we're going to put a little bit into this white. Oh, that smells like black raspberries. And we'll mix that up and see it's loosened up a bit with that sodium lactate that's just to me that's miracle stuff when you're doing hot process it's like oh, it's so great i found it helped in rebatching too if you ever do rebatching you know when you have to put it in the crock pot that sodium lactate can really really help so perhaps i need to keep this warmer i will just cover this a little bit here. Hopefully that'll stay put. Move this out of the way. Move this back. And we're going to put our fragrance oil. This is from um, Brambleberry. The black raspberry vanilla. Be a very reliable source of fragrance oil. So I'm quite delighted to be trying this out in this soap. I don't trust my soaps to just anything. You have to have good quality ingredients. Because, you know, you spend all this time and you're working hard on making these wonderful soaps. And you don't want to put something that's inferior in your soaps. So now we're mixing this all in. And we'll be ready to get it into our molds pretty soon. See, there's a little whitey. Get out. There's another one. You guys are ejected. Well, it won't be the end of the world if there's some white things in there because I will have white in the soap for the representing the vanilla. Okay, so there's another one. Yikes. That one's substantial. Look at the size of that. Oh, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get my molds. I need to wipe my hands off. Molds. And we'll start putting this in the molds. Okay. And what I'm going to do, besides getting more white pieces out of this batter, oh my gosh, I'm going to um, layer the bottom with this beautiful base color. If I can stop getting white pieces out for a second, we'll do that. Yikes. Okay, so let me get my, my very soapy, <laughs> hmm. okay, we'll pour a little bit in each one. This one here, and this one here. and I'm seeing all the little white specks going in. Let me get that knocked down. See that? Look at that. That's just... Oh. Come on, you guys. You can't be jumping in my soap. Uh, it must have been something I did. All right, well, I'm going to bang these down, get this to flatten out in the bottom. Okay. 
Okay. And then before this, it's more of a cream color than a white. I really wanted it whiter. I think we could add some more. Let's add some, a little bit more. Just we wanted a, it's supposed to be vanilla. I guess vanilla is not really white white. But okay, I'll just mix it so you can see. You know, since you come into my soap room, I want to treat you the best I can and show you everything that I'm doing so that you can do it too. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'll uh, give these a little bit of rubbing alcohol spray, make sure that I have good adhesion of the soap since we're starting to get a little thick. I'm just going to put some right down the middle and just about everywhere else there can be soap. <laughs> okay. That one landed in it. That's good. getting caked with white soap. So I'm going to scrape it off. It's just getting, it's just getting to um, setting up on me pretty quickly, even with all my sodium lactate help. So that means we have to move along a little more quickly. Okay, so let me see if I can pour in some more of this raspberry on top of this and on top of that okay I always find this hot process soap making to be pretty messy let me bang these down to flatten these out finish with the rest of the white and I'm going to stir it in a little bit swirl it as it were and those bits I got too many bits already is too many bits okay better get the rest of this on in here okay and over here pretty even hopefully hopefully okay the blueberry wasn't too bad but the white set up pretty good okay so I'm gonna bang these down again and there we go I'm going to take my metal skewer I have here and I'm going to just um, do a little twirl inside so that we get this a little bit mixed up. I don't want to make too much twirling but I want it to look like it's you know a nice raspberry mix. And then I like the tops to be pretty equalized as far as being bumpy. I want the bumps to be all the same size. So 
So I'm not going down, but maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. I'm just swirling it so I can get a nice uh, texture on the top that's even. I like it to be even. Let me bang this down one more time. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we'll just go right along the edge here and clear off any of these edges that need scraping. And we'll collect these harder pieces. <coughs> okay. And we'll scrape this one. good okay guys that's it give me a thumbs up please and thanks for watching appreciate that you're here and watching me i wish you could smell this this smells amazing everybody of course likes black raspberry vanilla and i can see why it's just delightful have a great day guys do something good for yourselves god bless bye hi guys brought you back for the cutting of the soap we made i did unmold it it came out pretty nice has some few air pockets along the side here and the bottom a little bit but pretty much hot process is like that and the top i like the even bumpiness the roughness so we'll go ahead and get this cut Okay, and pull one out from the middle, and that's my black raspberry vanilla, and of course it needs a little cleaning up, but it came out pretty nice. Um, here's another one. There's one of those white spots that I'm just trying to get rid of. They didn't stay away entirely. But all in all, it smells wonderful, has a little vanilla in it. Um, one thing I wanted to show you guys um, is I made um, this swirler. And I have two sizes, and they have straws on the bottom. And then I put um, hot glue in here and bent a um, hanger to fit and so I have two sizes now I have um, a shorter one and a longer one you guys can make these you just need um, straws of different lengths all right I wish I had that yesterday and that's what I couldn't find yesterday but these came out kind of cool so I'm very happy with them thanks guys have a great day. Do something good for yourself. God bless.